Hello Mario! In this video we're going to be looking at calculating and estimating volume using known geometric shapes. Quite often to calculate the volume of an area we can cut the area up into known shapes. These might be irregular types like we might have um, a wedge here, a pyramid there or that type of thing or they can be fairly regular as in this example here which I've used to so that we can show a, a, an independent method of how things might pan out. So in this shape here which is of a pond a 42 by 28 metre pond at the top um, with a 32 by 18 metre base and a 5 metre height in this pond here we have broken the, it up into a number of small geometric shapes which we can quite easily calculate the volume of. So we have shape 1 here which is just a rectangular cuboid and shapes 2 and 3 are a wedge. So a wedge is just half a rectangular cuboid really. So just as the triangle is half the area of a, of a rectangle, so the wedge is half the area of a rectangular cuboid. So we can see here, obviously, here's our rectangular cuboid length times width times height, and here's our wedge, which is half length times width times height. And we'll go through those as we as we get as more and more the third the third the, in each corner of course we have a, a shape here which is um, a pyramid in, in, in sorts and so we know that or can be approximated with a pyramid the volume of a pyramid of course is a, a third of the length times the width times the height of the uh, of the pyramid so just looking at our shapes here, a rectangular cuboid is 18 by 32, which is 2,880 um, metres cubed, 18 by 32 with a height of 5. Um, our wedge 2, which is this one in here, is 18 by 5 here and a height of 5. Um, and we take half of that, so that's 225 metres cubed. And we have a second wedge in here, which is 32 by 5 by 5 metres high, um, which is 400 cubic metres. And we have two of those, and two of wedge 2, two of wedge 3 uh, there. And then finally we have the four corners, a pyramid at each corner, which is a third length times width times height, which is one third times 5 by 5 by 5, which um, turns out, to be uh, 41.67 cubic meters. So to work out the total volume, we have uh, volume 1 here, two lots of volume 2, two lots of volume 3, and four lots of volume 4, which we put into our formula here, add it all together, and we get 4,296.68 cubic meters bit too exact for this type of thing <coughs> so we'll move on R roughly around 4,300 uh, cubic meters is probably what um, what I would go for in under these um, circumstance so but let's give it the good old surveyors independent check so here we are and we know that the actual regular shape that we've got there is what we call a a truncated pyramid or the frustrum of a pyramid so it just means that it's a pyramid with the top cut out off in this case it's an inverted pyramid because it's a pond um, so and we have a formula for that which is um, the height divided by three times the area of the top plus the area of the bottom plus the square root of the area of the top times the area of the bottom so uh, just looking at this here um, the area of the top, an AT, is uh, 42 by 28, which is 1,176 metres squared, because that's an area. And the area of the bottom is 32 by 18, which comes out at 576 metres squared. 
So putting all that into our formula, we get uh, our height, which is 5 over 3, um, times 1176 plus 576 plus the square root of 1176 times 576, which works out to be 4291.71 cubic metres. It's slightly different from our geometric, geometric shape there, but close enough. And as this, if this was an estimate, um, you know, we're approximating the volume here, as it's very difficult in any earthwork situation to get something um, exactly to that shape, um, that the estimated volume in this instance that I would use would be 4,300 cubic metres. So there we are, estimating volumes using geometric shapes with with a with a check